Hello all, this is Alice and this is definitely not day nine of the Devoteous Route. No, my friends, this is a surprise. To celebrate that the English patch has actually been finished and that there's also a Spanish patch now, I have revisited the tech demo and I decided to share this with you. Along with, yes, another little surprise. So, without further ado, I'll displace Pathologic. Return to the technical demo. Day in which we return to the beginning. Well, 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 well. I cannot believe it, but we are. Sorry, I got stuck. Back at the very first version of the TOG. And this being played in a Steam Deck with a full English patch. Hello, brother. Can you help me? Please. Anything. I wish I could. Liar. You're not going to help me. Uh, well, as you guys can see, it's uh, pretty much the same as we left it. With uh, the magnificent cathedral and yeah now we can see if we press F which is one of the things I wanted to show you all the meshes of the buildings though our uh, our man still stays uh, the same hello honored one don't come close, you bastard! And I'm going to come closer, you see. I'll catch up with you, I run fast. But yeah, it's uh, it's funny because I've managed to discover certain stuff that had me... What? How, did, how come I didn't know this? But anyhow, let's go through his... Hey there, you there, your name is... Hmm... Yeah, who's calling me? Going to the house, a girl asked for you. It's important, she says. And... Speak of the mouth. They told me you were already dead. You are already dead. And... Hey, how far to the cemetery? Not far for you. You do. You are not happy yet. But yeah, it's uh, this one's going to be, let's say, a faster visit than what we previously did. But yeah, so you guys can see that this works great with the um, a Steam Deck. If you install and you install the um, Exe through Lutris. And so you can see the full English patch, which is now not the um, not the only uh, patch that exists in uh, for the tech demo, because I have made another yeah machine translated. I hope that when I have enough money, it can be human translated patch for the um, tech demo, which is obviously in Spanish. But anyhow, now that we've talked with our man, and we see how the day is advancing, and before we go to see Maria, I want you guys to see translated and uh, the headers for the inventory and the journal did drive me a little insane but yeah here it is uh, as you guys can see day two day two day two and day three day three day three and yeah little a little review of what we of what we knew 
A man brought news that a tanner has hung himself in the factory, half of which belongs to Mokrok, and the apprentice who took care of him came down with a fever an hour later. And uh, yeah, if, if I remember well, I believe that Mokrok could certainly be this version, uh, this version Oyun. But anyhow, Kuron left the house to find the alarmist and find out whoever communicated with the tanner and the sick apprentice. And yeah, Kuron here we've uh, managed to discover in uh, other uh, versions of the game appears later as a sort of uh, character in a play that uh, Mark sets for the entertainment of the people of the TOG. But yeah, here my theory was that it was either Rubin or Sticky. Taking correspondence, news from the stamp, suspicious finds in the vicinity of the city, take emergency side time measures, Mm. And Pinakothek. First, that town hangman received. And yeah, as I said, the Pinakothek uh, was the very colorful um, building. For me, it was a very colorful building that was near the um, uh, cathedral. And. Uh, it was this version of the this version of the still water. Uh, yeah, in inventory we're going to do a quick read. I'll try not to laugh, cause certainly, man, that was something. <laughs> Folding scissors, scissors and scissors. They cut everything that should be cut. The folding design allows you to twist them into a small size and hide them anywhere. Once, they saved me in a desperate situation. Since then, I've been taking them everywhere with me. Cartilage scalpel. This is a large scalpel. It used to cut cartilage with it. Ah, uh, it is used to cut cartilage with it. Sorry, I am apparently blind. Uh, but it can be used uh, not only for its intended purpose. They say there are people who carry it with them only so they can always have a good sharpened steel at hand. Boy, do they ever. Especially in Pathologic 2. Chisel. Here's the chisel. It is possible that in currently fused bones are broken with it, but I use it during the section. Red witnesses of my work said that I handle it like a real pathologist. Yeah, I can remember me being what the heck. Surgical scissors. This object resembles scissors in its structure. Once someone explained to me that the lower blade is designed so as not to open a wound when cutting the bandage. If you boil them well, you can use surgical scissors while operating. Hmm, beg to disagree. Mouth expander. Even when I was a boy, I learned that this object is called a mouth expander. From which I concluded that specialists use it to span recalcitrant mouths, but I'm not an expert. And I use it in a variety of situations as a kind of anti-jam. Hook for suturing. This is a suture hook, my namesake. Apparently, a cat got thread or needle is pulled into it, after which the entire structure is pushed into where the hand cannot reach. Here, we are somewhat similar. Therefore, for me, it is a kind of talisman. And yeah, hear the revelation that of this um, probably not being Daniel, but being Artemi, Artemi Kriuk. But anyhow, vessel clamp. This is a surgical clamp. There are hundreds of them, quite varied. Since I don't understand a thing about medicine, I am, I'm sorry, this still kills me. Oh! Yeah, sorry. Funnily enough, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you late and you all later.
to be frank, it's really interesting to see that uh, and like what happens in um, in the next versions, time does advance uh, when you're inside the um, the um, menus. But anyhow, let's continue. Vessel clamp. This is a surgical clamp. There are hundreds of them, quite varied. Since I don't understand a thing about medicine, could I use so little on intuition? I use it as I see fit. Sometimes this approach gives completely unexpected results. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> this always gets me. <laughs> gets me very amused. But anyhow, as I was saying, yeah, there we go. Syringe. The syringe purpose doesn't need to be explained. A syringe arm with a needle enriches the blood with some entertaining solution. The adapter between hidden truth and transparent illusion. Recently, it has become especially popular among the people. But yeah. Ah, okay, and now that we are at it, I'm gonna show you guys something which is quite fantastic. As you guys have seen, well, we have uh, the and the sun rising, but now we have it on the very beginning of the, uh, in the sky. But also now we're at night, and this is all thanks for me, to me pressing one, two. Three and four. Let's go see Maria. And yes, uh, you guys can see there's like this smooth and, and transition in the Steam Deck as opposed with uh, to the um, into my computer, which yeah, it's not the best computer to play games, so never mind. And yeah, now that we can check a little bit more of the detail, man, I really really like those. Uh, Coffee tables. Hello, Maria. Did you forget something? And uh, yeah, we're gonna go through the three because... Yeah, and, and now it's just a classic. Yes, my wallet was left on the shelf near the brazier. There were at least 150 and most importantly, letters. In fact, all my correspondence. Okay, I'll check it out. Just to be clear, how will you pay me back if I find out you're lying? You know... Slanders get their tongues cut off. Words get uh, that they are still in process in my house, and my reputation isn't worth 150. You can't get it back. Did you really value your reputation so much? I would have never noticed from your behavior. Value is an understatement. My reputation is my favorite toy. So come on, describe what the wallet looked like and what was in it. And please, in more detail. Now I will gather all the servants. They will tear the floorboards of the floor, but they will search all corners of the room. And if we don't find the wallet, I'll have your hand cut off. We'll save the tone for another time. All right? Do you really want to cut off my hand? I don't know. I guess I don't want to, but I have to. It's too late to back out, you know. But I'm willing to consider my options. How about a kidney? You got one left? You might live till the pestilence kills you. I could use it. Will you cut it out yourself or will you call someone? Hmm, interesting because I thought that um, he will, and she will mention the colleague. You know, when I in the previous um, video that I made of this, uh, she mentioned that colleague that. Uh, is collecting organs, and I said that this could, uh, I thought that this could originally be Artemi or or Rubin, because I was very confused. Anyhow, and you then are already aware of the case. See how nice it is. If you come back in the morning, I'll send you out for breakfast. And look at me. If you don't come, you'll regret it. By the way, who knows? Maybe we'll actually find the wallet. There are miracles in life. Happily. Well, 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 Maria. You are one scary lady. I feel sick. Would you give me some water? Are you crazy? 
Get out of the door immediately. I'll come to you now. Or better yet, we'll talk through the window. Don't touch the door handle. I'll open it with your foot. Come out. Don't touch anything. I beg you. Wrap your hand in a handkerchief. And yet this was very... Um, an angel of her. You surprised me, really. She said you could find tell the healthy from the sick at a glance. What's had changed since our last meeting? No one can understand anything. You know it as well as I do. Which one of the us is a doctor? Me or you? What do you feel? Tell me. Suffocation? Fever? Are your hands shaking? Don't come near. Go out the door. Speak from there. You said that the disease is not contagious. So you are not sure about that? Who told you about this? Are you bluffing again? Maria, stop being dark. Explain to me why you went to slaughterhouses. Why did you spend the night in a plague-ridden area? Why are you so scared? Too many questions, don't you think? I won't talk to you anyway until you help me with your game skills. Either you're with me or you're against me. Go. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you understand that? I trust my allies, but you are not one of them yet. Go, and don't come back without good news. Now you have an extra reason not to cross my threshold. Another idea has arisen about the death of Nikki. Actually, that was I was uh, what I was coming to you with. A leaky head. Interesting? And yeah, here there was uh, like, uh, you know, um, <laughs> thinking about who could Nikki be. But yeah, I definitely th think this was um, this version of, uh, of Eva. Because, yeah, she's always doomed to die tragically. I hate that, to be honest. <laughs> Anyhow, another idea has arisen about the death of Nikki. Actually, that was what I was coming to you with. A leaky head. Interesting? Speak. Okay. I explained briefly. After the fight, the Twister Martin wanted to finish off Little Blood, and the stupid girl got under the knife and began to whine until people ran away. Then Mr. Martin let himself be led away, and I began to bandage blood with rags that were thrust under my hands. Among the other young was a dirty shirt, and I recognized her. Guess whose? Guess whose? Boy, I, it did sound like I was uh, a choose. Uh, speak, speak, I'm listening to you. Details are irrelevant. The fact is that in my hands I have a shirt covered with human blood. Only Nikki had such a shirt. Not only there was a custom-made sewing, but there was also a mark on the place of the solar plexus. It would not be difficult to identify her. The difficulty lies on who dropped it. Who dropped it. Now even less serious evidence can serve as a bastard for reprisals. Such a mess in the city. I get you, smart ass. I propose a deal. I pay five hundred and you swear that blood dropped the shirt. I pay two hundred, you just keep quiet about this case. If you swear on a stamatin, you will not leave the city alive. What do you say? And I do what I did. <laughs> because, yeah, there we get the name reveal. Even if I feel bad betraying Bladito. Agreed. The first option will suit me perfectly. Will you swear that blood dropped it? Darling, that's a gift, so a gift. That's it, Benedict. The morning of the evening is more complicated. Come in the morning. At first sight, come straight to me. Then we will talk properly. Be sure that I can thank you for that. I will obey all your wounds for, say, a week. Think about it at night. See you. And, yep, Benedict. It's just, it's something. Oh, by the way, since the um, other time we fell when it was clear as day, we are going to fall in the middle of the night today, because it could be, it could be fun. And yeah, we're going to go this other way. And... Boy, I don't even know what's happening with my keyboard. I really hope it doesn't stop working. Or it doesn't run out of batteries just in the middle. Uh, 
But anyhow, yeah. Such a mess. And there we go. Oh, so the ending is closer here. No, not really. There we are. So yeah, we're going to go through the swimmy swimmy through the Gorkon. 1.0 But yeah, it's it's been nice returning to the original town on Gorkon at the very least that we have uh, knowledge of. Man, I would really really love to get my hands on other previous versions of <laughs> of pathologic and uh, yeah as uh, you guys can imagine i'll leave a link uh, in the description for the completed patch i cannot believe i'm saying this but yeah it's it's complete this is complete at last welcome to night vale now sorry that was a different town in which creepy things happen but yeah okay am i going to find the end now yeah looks looks like we're almost there we're almost there and yeah there we are whoa now that was far so the Nogorkon river isn't as tiny as i thought but anyhow let's take the leap And we acknowledge the victory of the player. See you all. So, it's nice to return to the origins, especially now that the patch is finally complete. I have also left a link to the patch in the description below, so you guys can also enjoy a walk through the TOG 1.0 version. Again, as usual, if you found this video and had no idea of my other stuff, hello again, this is Salis, and I am currently going through every possible iteration of pathologic available to the public among many other stuff if you can and haven't already please subscribe and if you like this enough to spare some cash my way there's a link to my coffee in the description below next video is going to be day 9 of the 2005 devoters route this time for real until then see you